Hi, I'm Travis Clapp, the CEO and co-founder of Coursebox AI. Today, I'm going to go through and just show you how easy it can be to create a course, either from just an idea or using your existing content. This is our course creation screen. And just to familiarize you with it, if you've created a course previously and you've got drafts, you can actually search your drafts at the top. Or you can select a language from 950 different variations and get started. Down the bottom, you can actually drag and drop existing content that you might have. So I'm going to do that. In this case, I'm going to train our AI using the course box user menu as a PDF and just drop that. While it's loading that document and training it, down the bottom you'll see combined knowledge with ChatGPT is automatically selected. This is using GPT 3.5 Turbo and our algorithm to create a course. I can untick that though. If I untick it, once we go through some steps, it's actually going to only use the content that you've uploaded. In this case, my user manual, but if I do decide to select it, it will use existing knowledge and creativity from GPT as well. I can click on websites and I'll just grab our homepage website and I can paste that in and it will fetch the links. If it's the homepage, it should find all, it should parse all of the links in your website. But if it's a, a sub page, it will just train AI using that one link. So let's see how it goes. There we go. And you can delete some of these links if you don't want to use that to train the AI for your course. Uh, you can also upload to YouTube. And I've got a link here, which is my co-founder Alex has created a similar course in course design and lesson planning using AI. So I'm going to put that in there as well, load that video up. So now it's got a PDF, a bunch of web links and a YouTube file that's going to pre-train. It's also going to combine the knowledge. Now there's a small icon over on the right that's very powerful. And this is where you can select how many core learning objectives you're going to have in your course. So I like to go for about five up to seven. How many lessons? A lesson is like a section of learning and the default is just three with three topic pages for each lesson. So you'll end up with a course with about nine content pages getting generated there, unless you increase that. So I'm gonna say five lessons, you might say five topics or pages per lesson. One quiz at the end of each of those lessons or sections is appropriate with three quiz questions. 100% quiz pass grade seems a little bit higher. So I'm gonna take that down to 80. How many assignments per lesson? So this is actually the most exciting part of what we've created. This is the AI assignment generator. What it will do is based on the content that has been provided to the student so far, let's say at the end of lesson one, it will generate a scenario based assessment item, which might be you need to write 200 or a few hundred words as a student based on that scenario. And then you'll get graded against uh, a basic grading rubric, which is divided into five segments. And as the educator, you can edit that rubric. And how does that work? Well, when the student actually sits by chat in the window on that page, their assignment, the AI will, if you enable it, the AI will automatically grade the assessment submitted using that rubric. And that's useful for the student. It's also useful as as the course creator or the course boxer, course boxer, that you can customize that. And what is the assignment word count? Well, that's how many words you'd hope the student writes <laughs> uh, to to get a pass grade. And the default pass grade for those assignments is fifty. So I'll close that out. But that's a very powerful feature. And as time goes on, we're going to make that more and more prominent as a step. And all of those steps I've mentioned are basically optional. 
there's only really three key steps you need to know about describe your course so how to use course box to create a course it's my course next how long is it it'll be a 20 minute course but it, this could be a month long course depending on how many lessons you select in your advanced settings who will be completing this course course creators or we like to use the term course boxes and next so this next step usually takes 20 30 seconds depending on how many lessons and quizzes and assignments but it's basically the high level design or the structure of your course and it's often the biggest roadblock i find when you're creating a course whether you've got content or not really just working out from the objectives and the assessment criteria well how am i going to structure this course so that takes all the guesswork out of it and you'll see it has created those five okay so you will see that the characters of my upload were under the limit so that's worked it's written a course title a description my five learning objectives it's tagged the course which is useful for future seo if you're not happy with something you can always just go ahead and delete an item you can edit each section you can add a quiz you can add a topic so just edit in there creating the ideal structure using ai and when you're happy there's another option that one automatically write content for all pages now you can untick that which will just create blank pages but if you order if you tick it which is the default and save and generate it will firstly create the structure and then it gives you a warning that it takes five to ten minutes to go through every page and actually write that content using ai okay you can see that it's generated the course as a structure on the left in my menu and over a period of 10 minutes each page is drafted for you or drafted for me in this case and i'm clicking through this in edit mode Coursebox also has an integration with pexels and generates an image that is in some way related to your content but if you decide you don't want a certain image you just go to files and remove i'll just talk about some of the other features on the right here the first area is discussion and you can enable this on every page which is what happens by default and your students can engage with each other in a chat and you can customize what this says instead of share something i could change that to uh, click here to engage <clears throat> and when you when the students are submitting they can add attachments paste a video uh, or yeah add an image or a file and you've got a lot of control over who can do what so the default is uh, anyone can post you can change it to admins and facilitators or no discussion at all and you can choose who can view the posts the next level up is assessment so you can turn your chat into an accessible item and with coursebox ai it actually creates an ai generated assessment with rubric for you that students can submit work into but you can you can create an assessment manually over here and again you can edit what the button this purple thing is a button what the button says you can assign pass grades if there's no pass grade then it means that students can basically submit anything and continue to the next page uh, but if there is a pass grade and, and they don't pass they the next page will not be unlocked until they pass and you can enable ai feedback as well which is where our ai will actually automatically within about three seconds give feedback to us uh, based on a submission and you can change the layout so essentially this is the order of items and discussion and assessment is always locked on the right hand side so it's uh, the the order is at the bottom 
but you, if you've added a PDF or something, you could highlight that as your feature area in the middle. And that brings me to add item. So you can add an image or image gallery, attachments, quizzes, score modules with or without notes functionality on each page within a school. A score module is basically an interactive third party course that you're embedding in the page from another course creator like Articulate Storyline, you can embed that into a course page. You can upload or add video links that embed automatically for your learners, like a LinkedIn or a YouTube, Instagram. You can use ServerMonkey. It's got an integration slideshows. Uh, so you can paste, say, a Canva slideshow or Google Slides. And you can embed a PDF. So I've just gone through those main items on the right, but I'll just continue progressing. If I click on the pe on this uh, preview icon, it now shows me basically what a learner would see of each page. And I can test out a quiz. Uh, I can also skip testing the quiz if I wish as an editor, but not as a learner. And here's an AI assignment. So you can see there's a scenario it's explaining, the AI is explaining how it will grade. You can edit this, get back in edit mode. And that's an AI assignment. When you're ready and you're happy with all of your content, simply go to publish settings. And in here, it's a good idea to create a video. If you want to embed a video, then just go into the course objectives and click on the video icon. And that's good because if you're sending out the link or selling your course and learners are trying to learn about the course before they get access to the actual pages, uh, you'd want to promote that as, as best you can. And there are a few publish options. So you can publish as paid. At the moment, you need a Stripe account, but we're going to enhance that down the track to include PayPal and other payment options. Uh, but on that note, if you're on the Guru or LMS plan, you can use Zapier to accept other automations from your website, or Shopify store, and give instant access to a course or even a group or resource. Publish as public, so anybody within my course box would be able to see it. Or if we're talking about on your LMS, anybody within your, who's got a logged in account in your LMS, and private, so you, you can restrict the access and manage quite carefully. And then there's a lot of uh, settings here to manage your students and admins and prerequisites. So you can actually string a few courses together using a prerequisite pathway. And you can even enroll a group of learners. So if you're on a guru plan, and you've got a group, you can synchronize a, a group. So whoever gets access to that would have access to, let's say, 10 of your courses immediately. And then there's the share icon. So you can go and preview as learner, as I was showing you. You can copy that share link, or you can embed the iframe of your course anywhere on the web. So that's quite useful, especially if you're doing a course that you just, just want really quick access for people to view on your website as more of marketing collateral. That's where copy iframe could be useful. And you can embed this course on a learning management system like Blackboard or Canvas and that's got instructions for how to publish to your LMS using an LTI version 1.3. Finally, you can click to manage certificates. And to do that, you can build a custom certificate. And then what? Um, there's a video on the right for detailed instructions. Uh, you can then assign uh, one or more of your courses to that certificate. So happy course boxing. Thank you.